YouTube, what is up? It's your boys at Fuzzy Motion here coming at you to talk to you about a few things dealing to and pertaining with life in and of itself. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is the fact that the FAMAS is getting nerfed, but right away you're going to notice I come around this corner and oh, what's coming up the corner? Oh yes, your boy gets gunned down in cold blood. Not a good way to start the match. Anyway, uh, the FAMAS is getting nerfed, uh, and that's good news, you know, any anytime you have developers uh, continuing to work on a game uh, well after it's released is always a welcome uh, a welcome thing in my book. Uh, I, I wish more developers would do that with other games. I mean, it, you know, there are games I can think of off the top of my head like uh, Fantasy Star Online. I wish they still did uh, support for that. Uh, Ghostbusters the game, they did support for that like two weeks after it came out and then they're like, yeah, you know what? The multiplayer sucks. So uh, fend for yourselves. Can't get those achievements now. Good luck trying to get that shit. Um, and Half-Life. Remember Half-Life? Team Fortress? I used to love that game. In fact, that was one of the reasons I wanted to get the games, because of Team Fortress. The, the orange box. And uh, that that got hacked to shit. I mean, you know, everybody was running around with, like, God Mode on. It's no fun. It's like World at War right now. You know, it's no good. But, uh, you know, they're not even going to do that much to it, guys. They're going to close the grouping down, um, make, it, make it slower to aim. Uh, and things of that nature. So I mean, it's not like the complete death of the Moss. It just maybe now instead of getting gunned down by you know a douchebag in the corner wearing ghost and using a Famas, you're gonna get gunned down by a douchebag in the corner uh, using ghost with a Galil or an Aug. You know, switch it up a little bit. Keep things flavorful. Um, anyway, uh, that having been said, I know everybody's been beating that into the ground lately. Our camera came in finally. Yay, our camera! Uh, it's a Panasonic AVC Cam HD. Uh, played around with it. Nothing's better than making a, a purchase and figuring out that everything that you thought about the camera works and that it just syncs up with your computer nicely. I don't have to you know, format any files. So the next review we put out, uh, which is going to be soon, uh, is going to look much better and sound much better. Uh, I like how the post office lied to me, though. post office uh, sent me a little little slip in the mail said yeah we tried to stop by but nobody was there so you know come pick it up at the post office and I'm like bullshit I was there all day I was checking my phone I had text message alerts I was waiting waiting and I knew it showed up in my town um, that's how I knew they were full of shit because I got the text that it was in my town before I got the, the notice that uh, they tried to deliver it so um, US Postal Service great job great job sacks of shit uh, was waiting for that thing for you know a couple weeks and finally came in and uh, thank God for that because you know had it been damaged or something I don't know what I would have done I'm very upset expensive purchase man that's all I'm gonna say uh, it's not cheap you know HD cameras are not cheap um, uh, it's just uh, but you know when you when you want to make a difference and you want better quality you, you got to go with what the pros use man so uh, that finally came in. Um, I was having a little problem with the uh, the microphone though. I bought a shotgun mic for it too, and uh, I hooked up my uh, my headphones to it. And I, you know, I was trying it out, wanted to make sure everything worked in proper order. So I, I hooked up the adapter to it, the XLR adapter. It's got XLR inputs instead of uh, regular stereo inputs. Uh, you know, it's for sound quality. And uh, hooked it all up, <clears throat> got it set up on a tripod, and I was like, all right, let's make this bitch work. So I start you know talking, and I don't hear anything, and I don't know. You know, I haven't used a professional camera before. I don't know whether it was me or the equipment. So I started, you know, fussing with stuff. And I'm like, well, it's definitely not the, the camera because the onboard camera works. Um, sounds like shit, but it works. So it's like, well, maybe it's the uh, the inputs. The in maybe the inputs wrong, the adapter. No, I can still hear something on my headphones uh, when I unplug and plug stuff back in. So I'm like, damn it, it's got to be the microphone. Like, leave it to fucking Amazon to sell me a piece of shit microphone. You know, so I start cursing out Amazon. I'm like, damn you, Amazon, and your bullshit. I'm going to make the nastiest review you can ever hear about. And I, I pull it out, and I start, like, you know, waving it around. Like, what could be wrong with this thing? It's got an on button. It's in the on position. It's got this other stupid button. That's up. Uh, I don't know what the hell's wrong. So I unscrew it, just thinking, like, maybe there's a wire disconnected, and I could bring it back to Amazon. It takes batteries. Did not know that. It takes batteries. Thought it was plugged in and it works. No, nope, it takes a one AAA battery, one single AAA battery. Yep, plug that in, works just fine though. Although the balance is a little bit off, I can live with that. Whatever. 
Um, but hey, man, it works. You know, it works. It looks good. Uh, it's easy to, to integrate with, uh, with the editing software. You just, you know, plug it in and, and no, uh, no conversions needed. I was worried I, I was going to have to convert all the files from M2TS to, uh, to MOV files or, you know, MPG4 files. That's not the case. Thank God for that because that just takes forever. Um, that's finally finished. So uh, I, I just, I'm like thrilled uh, and I can't wait to, to film the next Spielberg review, man. It's going to be awesome. Uh, speaking of the Spielberg review, we're almost done writing that. We've got about three more movies to sit down and write. Probably going to do that tonight uh, and then have a rewrite sometime this week and shoot it next Wednesday. So, you know, that's coming up pretty soon, guys. Look out for that. Uh, thank you so much for the support we've been getting. I know Munch Gamer gave us a shout out saying uh, he liked the video, thought it was pretty funny. Uh, that's good, you know, it's good when we, we have shit, uh, shit quality for, for a video. Uh, we work really hard to write that script, so, um, you know, the video quality is going to go up from here, and hopefully you guys can enjoy it. Uh, you know, we just want to make something that's funny and uh, that everybody can uh, enjoy watching. Uh, you know, it, it, it's, not, it's not easy. We thought, you know, we thought we'd be able to get it all done in one day. We were really humbled by this whole process, like, you know. Shout out to uh, Nostalgia Critic and, and The Nerd and Spoonie One and all those guys, those reviewers, those internet reviewers that on a daily basis grind out reviews of countless pieces of uh, you know nostalgic footage or, or video games or anything like that because it's not easy, man. And right here I get my Huey and I killed that guy as he launched the Valkyrie and he looped it back around to get his revenge kill. Of all six people, I guess I was the most interesting to him because I just murked his ass. Oh, karma's a bitch. I missed out on my dogs. No big deal. So I lay down over here and call on the chopper gunner. I don't have any fancy music or anything like all the other guys do, but uh, uh, you know, it's what it is. And I don't use the chopper gunner too often, guys. You know, it's a pain in the ass to get and, uh, you know, when you get it up, there's no guarantee you're going to get... Uh, look, I'm already getting targeted to get shot down. And I do get shot down, but I do kill a few people before uh, uh, I actually go into the ground. And that's the thing I hate, you know, it's it's you know, eight kills, nine kills if you're not using hardline to get this stupid thing, and once you get it, there's no guarantee that it stays up even. Just, you know, some asshole wearing ghost who ruins your, your game on the ground, he's going to ruin your game in the air too, he's going to shoot it down. It pisses me off, and I mean, that's the last thing I need, that, that would send me into an anaphylactic shot of rage. <laughs> I would break my controller, I've already bitten it a few times just out of sheer anger. Uh, I don't want to do any more harm to my equipment. And right here, I bite the dust, but that's okay, because I did the damage Come around the corner. Give this guy the business, give a little reload action, and now I'm looking for a few more kills just to close this thing out. See you, beast. All right, and I have a decision make go around the corner or try to face him up. I went around the corner, and he just bird dogged me. No big deal. No big deal. You know? Um, I just got to sit down and finish writing the script for Empire of the Sun. I'm telling you right now, guys, that movie is long. Really, really long. And uh, if you haven't seen it, Christian Bale's in it as a kid. And all I can you know, think to myself is Patrick Bateman wouldn't stand for this. Patrick Bateman would not stand for this. Um, and if, you, you know, if you've seen the movie, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, it's, you know, World War II stuff. Uh, pretty interesting, but, uh, you know, check it out for yourselves. All right, so there it is. Uh, we dominate this game. You know, it was a mercenary game. Um, I don't think I'm the top killer in this game, but it doesn't matter because I think I have the, the best KD spread. And I got my chopper gunner. Guys, once again, as always, thanks for stopping by. Uh, love the support. And always stop by for more. It's your boys of Fuzzy Motion, and we're out of here. See you later.